<laughs> all right. You're back here on the program. If you know me at all, let me tell you, I love records. We know that I love records. You can figure that out uh, every Sunday night at 8 o'clock. On CBC Radio, you've got a radio show called The Strombo Show. We, we play records, we talk about records. Sometimes we, we run the risk of over-intellectualizing records, but that's okay, because we live in a culture where most entertainment, you don't intellectualize it at all. So we want to celebrate the joy. It's not just how music sounds, but it's what do they say. I want to get into the lyrics of O oh Canada. I know you've talked about it. We want to talk about it tonight on the panel. <laughs> Look at this, Jeremy Sneakers, everybody. To be clear, to be clear, I am 100% in favor of changing the lyrics of the anthem to include women. If all thy sons excludes women, change the lyrics. I don't care that it's traditional, change the I believe that 100%. I'm also a Washington football fan and they should change the name from the skins to something else as well. But that's a different, that's a different panel altogether. Are you, Albert, for or against changing the lyrics? Oh, uh. Canada. Look, I mean, I understand you want to change the lyrics, but by the time we get to All Thy Sons Command, most of us are just humming. <laughs> you know, we're all like, oh, trade love him. You know, so yeah. it's... If that. If that, yeah. exactly. I only so, ever uh, hear the anthem when I'm watching sports. That's the only time I ever hear it these days, but I would love it if they would change it. What do you yeah. think? I am all for anything that Margaret Atwood supports, <laughs> including, right? Yay! Including... Her hairdo, which is super crazy, but I dream of that when I hit her age. But I also think, okay, fine, let's change the lyrics, but that's enough, right? Enough, because what, these broads got the vote, and now they want these lyrics changed, and then they're gonna wanna change the flag to pink, so that's it. I, uh, that's it, broads. I think you read one of Ryan's jokes. I'm so I sorry. Think you read I'm one so of... sorry, you're right. There Ryan, you go. what do you think of this, man? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm confused by the debate as well, yeah. only because the only time you hear the song is at a Leafs game, which I can't afford to go to. So <laughs> I will say this. It's going to eventually be the, the Hockey Night in Canada theme anyway, so <laughs> let's you know just what, fast track that. You know what would be great about that? We all know the words to the Hockey Night in Canada theme. It's just na 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 na. That's it. We just have to know na. Nah. And it should be that short, by the way. Na 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 na. All right, all right. Let's right. play some hockey. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess the big reason, even, you know, I jokingly say that people who don't want to change it, you know, it's, it's misogyny, but they're not all. Some people are just scared of modernization. That's it. Mm. Some people are really worried about the concept of this kind of change. Is there something about modernization? that just scares you? Uh, well, I mean, like, nobody likes change, right? Like, it's always something like that. Like, you know, my father, he's, you know, he won't use a computer because he's afraid he's putting a librarian out of work, that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. You know, it's just like... <laughs> That's really you know, thoughtful, actually. Well, he's very nice. He's very nice about it, you know. And, uh, and, I, and I'm the one who told him that because I don't want to teach him how to use a computer. Fair so, enough, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what about you? I'd like to see a dubstep version oh, myself. <laughs> Um, right, is there another tradition or custom? Like, we, you know, we, I talked about the, uh, the the Washington Redskins name. I think that's got to go. Um, we talked about the anthem. There's another tradition from back in the day that we need to update. Uh, well, I hear the word tradition, and I, I'm traumatized by it because there was a tradition in my family that revolved around our moose hunting camp. Mm -hmm. And if, if you shot the moose, you, you had to kiss the arse of the moose. Right. And that was our only real family tradition. That Every, is a terrible uh, tradition. Ta and, and traumatizing. I don't and, want you ever to respect me that much. I, <laughs> actually... I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around more right after this. <laughs>here on the program. Listen, I know that we are, we are talking about the idea of changing the lyrics to the national anthem. It's a debate that comes up every now and then, uh, and, and there are people right now that are polarized on the issues. The truth is, it's going to change over time. That's going to happen. Go to strombo.com and take a look at the, at the list of things that used to be normal. <laughs> that are no longer normal, right? Things that used to be considered traditional that stopped being traditional because usually the rules have been written by people who wrote the rules by oppressing other people. So that's why we think this conversation ultimately will go away down the road. But Strombo.com, you'll see more stuff. So if you were to change the anthem, what would you change it to? Uh, you know, the, the song is supposed to be about unifying people and, and the non-starter is the first line in, in the song. Oh, Canada, our home on native and native land. <laughs> And uh, it should be rewritten to, Oh, Canada, our home is on native land. <laughs> and there's, there's... You still only got half the room to clap by. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> <laughs>
Please think of me whenever you cut your grass. <laughs> and, uh, That's interesting. Well, because... <laughs> you, you're, you're against well-kept lawns? Is that what... No, 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 no. Just uh, non-native people should just think of us when they're cutting their lawns. Right. Because it's our lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hear from the panel, everybody. I'm with Hello. Ready on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Naomi, of course, on everything. And Mr. B on CBC. I got a hilarious web series called uh, The Casting Room, which you can see on the Internet Machine. And Ryan McMahon hosts the 14th Annual Imaginative Film and Media Arts Festival Award Show and Reception October the 19th, I believe, right? That's In right, Toronto Saturday. at the Hawks. And it's a pleasure to be with you. Good thing. Yeah.